quantum physics has begin to, begun to tell us that the way we think of the physical world is not really the way the world is. But we didn't have to wait for the quantum physicist to tell us that. Jesus' own teaching was a teaching of oneness. Of oneness. His prayers were filled with thou in me and me in you and me and them and them with us. It was oneness. It wasn't, I'm the big cheese. I'm the big cheese who's come to the into the world to save the world. No, it was a teaching of oneness. We're all one here, we're one soul family. And I'm here to bring the heart and soul of the soul family to the soul family. Not to be the big cheese of the soul family, my goodness. To bring the heart and soul of the soul family and to include the whole soul, soul family in himself. He apparently had the ability to do that. So when we are allowing ourselves to be penetrated with the spiritual reality that we're touching, yes, it's our own true selfhood. It is us. And yet we're not a separate reality from everybody else. And we're, we're not separate from the supreme soul, the heart and soul of our whole human family. When we're giving expression to that heart and soul, we are giving expression to ourselves. And if we're giving expression to ourselves, we're giving expression to that because we are part of the soul family. We can't express who we are without expressing the name of the soul family. We're proclaiming who we all are by proclaiming who we are. We're saying we're, we're all the Christ. This is the Christ family, the human family. When, we exp when we're true to who we are, it works both ways, yes. We could start with the, the larger picture and we could start with um, ourselves. But if you start with one, you go to the other, at least if you're open to have the experience. <laughs> 